Hey everyone, this is Jake from Optimus Futures bringing you another trading view tutorial. And in this video, I'll be covering chart synchronization. This is a brand new feature on TradingView. In my opinion, it is a very powerful and useful feature, and it's going to be a very short video. It's pretty easy to configure. Now, before I dive into the tutorial of this video, I do want to mention that we have been getting a lot of questions on our YouTube channel lately uh, regarding trading on TradingView and whether or not this is just for charting or trading as well. I just want to make it clear that you can use this platform for trading with Optimus Futures. Uh, we allow futures and Forex trading directly from the TradingView platform. All you need to do, whether it's a live account or a demo account with us, is come down to your trading panel at the bottom of your screen, see your brokers list, access Optimus Futures right here, connect with us, and you can sign in with a demo or live account. Um, I will put a demo link in the description below. So if you want to give TradingView a shot with uh, live futures data and a paper trading account, please sign up directly below. Now, in regards to the tutorial of this video, synchronizing your charts. So like I mentioned, this is a new feature that was recently released. Uh, you'll find it in TradingView's What's New section where you can keep on top of all the new features and functionality they release. And this new feature is used when using a multi-chart layout. So by default on TradingView, you will have one chart per screen, one chart per monitor, but in the top right here where you select your layouts, you can choose by clicking this uh, square select layout button, a different layout. So let's use our two chart layout here, a vertical charting style. And as you can see, we have both charts set to the MNQ, the micro e-mini NASDAQ 100 index futures now in order to synchronize your charts and i guess to give you a bit more context on what synchronizing actually means this allows you to have multiple charts on different time frames but the date range and the time range will actually move in unison they'll synchronize they will move together and there's even a way to bring that a step further to where you can add drawing tools and synchronize your charts that way. So if you draw a line, let's say, for example, on one time frame, it'll automatically get drawn on another. So I was testing this a bit before the video. And as you can see, we do have my two MNQ charts. I have one chart set to a one minute time frame, which is on the left here. And my right chart is set to a 45 minute time frame. There's no rhyme or reason why I chose these time frames. I just wanted to make them a bit different so you could tell that it's the same chart, same price action, but you know, two largely different time frames. Now, in order to actually synchronize your charts, you need to come back up to this layout button. And down here at the bottom, you'll see several different features here under the sync and layout option. Now, I already have them checked off because I was testing this myself. By default, there will likely be nothing enabled here, but in my opinion, in the three things that you should have checked off if you want to synchronize your charts, for one is date range, and two is crosshair. Excuse my misclick. Now they're both enabled. You can tell they're enabled because they're highlighted blue. And now if you notice, if I hover over one chart, my crosshair starts to work in unison here. They're at the same price. And if I move my time frames, you can see it, it is a bit hard to tell just looking at my 45 minute chart because it is such a large time frame. But watch what happens. I'm moving only my mouse on my right hand side of my chart, only on my 45 minute time frame. And my left chart is moving as well. So as you can see, this can almost give you a deeper look or potentially a deeper look into the markets or the various symbols you're using. Um, you can see two time frame at once and essentially have your chart synchronize in order to view both price actions at a different time frame. Now, like I said, you can take this a step further. If you select the drawings, you'll be able to actually draw any of your drawing tools and they will synchronize and be available on both time frames and on both charts just with one click. So as you can see, I chose a line in my top left or array. I choose my array. I draw both endpoints. And there we have it. There's no rhyme or reason why I chose this drawing tool, but as you can see, I just selected it. And now I have on both of my charts 
the same exact line at the same exact price, same exact time frame. And you can see they have other options for time syncing as well. You can sync the symbol, which in this case it already is, but this is actually probably a good idea to have too, um, at least for this video's purposes. Uh, we're using the same symbol on both charts. I already manually set that up myself, but if you'd like, um, this is an easier way and more convenient way to do it. Uh, you can sync the time interval as well. Now for the purpose of what I have shown here, and this feature actually has been here for a while, if I'm not mistaken, um, this will just make the time frames the same. So for the point of this video, um, it may not actually be necessary, but I just want to show you um, how this can be done. And I actually had this checked off in time as well. So, you know, you could have the time frame in sync as well um, and everything will move in unison. So ultimately that wraps it up. Like I said, this is a very short video. It is a powerful feature um, that, you know, does give you one view of the market in multiple different fashions, if you will, multiple different time frames, all with one click glance and everything's in sync, allowing you to draw your indicators, drawing tools, etc., all with one click and have them synced up on the same uh, chart with different time frames. So I hope you find this helpful. I know I mentioned it in the video, but again, you can trade through this platform with us if you want to give it a shot and see what it, you know, how it behaves uh, with real live futures market data. You can sign up for a demo in the description below. We'll have the link available. Just go ahead and sign up. We will, or the data provider we use for this platform, CQG, will email you your login credentials, and then all you need to do is plug them into the trading down below. Uh, trading panel, excuse me, down below like I showed you in the beginning. If you do have any questions, please post them in the comment section down below or head over to our community forum. That's community.optimistfutures.com. That's also in the description. Um, you know, it is a good resource in a community of traders answering each other's questions, giving each other feedback. So if there is anything you want to ask and maybe get some real insight from other traders or someone on our team, uh, please ask your questions there and we will try and answer them as soon as possible. Thanks again for watching and we hope you find this video helpful.